Asus Stephen Harrington Vivo Book Review Enough is enough, I'm no longer staying quiet. Therefore, asking companies to stop using Pentium processors for mid-range computers right away. Understandably, there is a case to be made here. Not everybody needs an expensive Threadripper or Core i7 build. A lot of people just want to watch YouTube or stay active on Twitter and they could save money and finance a better screen, nicer build, and additional features if they opt for a cheaper CPU. That's great if you belong to that subset. That said, nobody, and mean absolutely nobody should shell out more than a couple of hundred bucks on a single task apparatus. In view of the fact that a $360 Chromebook duet can access the web just as efficaciously. The advantage a Windows laptop holds over these devices, besides the larger monitor, is that it can better service multitasking and work with its Windows operating system. It is viable for more robust programs, optimizing app windows and files is easier, plus it has enough computing power to manage multiple jobs concurrently. So when you pay more than let's say $800 for something that will always only offer one window at once, realize you are making a mistake. The Asus Vivo Book 13 Slate Hall and Stephen Harrington Edition, which is named after the LA-based artist, is one of the most stylish computers I've reviewed this. The Pentium processor functions best when you are only running one program at a time. The Vivo Book 13 Slate Stephen Harrington Edition is a collaboration between Asus and an artist. This limited edition tablet has a 13.3-inch OLED display, representing the artist's unique worldview. Another limited edition model was created in partnership with Philip Colbert from London. Assume that the Stephen Harrington edition was thoroughly successful. In other words, it looks incredible. The stands is designed with fun cartoon animals, trees, planets, etc., as well as multiple repeated characters of Harrington's artistry. The bottom area of the keyboard contains even more delightful graphics. This laptop has charisma. It would be fantastic if more devices had this quality. Opening up this laptop at a cafe would earn me lots of admiring glances and make me feel more stylish than the other people in the coffee shop. In a technology market full of dull grays and blacks, an injection of personality to enable customers to incorporate their tablet into their style is always desirable. With the Pentium Silver and 6000, 8GB RAM, and 256GB storage, the VivoBook 13 Slate model costs significantly less than both the 12.9-inch iPad Pro and Surface Pro 9. Plus, this device has an eye-catching design along with a kickstand that can be adjusted in various directions. In addition, there are few if any 13-inch laptops, especially at under $1,000, that boast an OLED screen as the VivoBook does. The Intel Pentium Silver N6000 is not an outstanding processor by any means it doesn't conserve battery life well. From my experience, it gives only approximately 5 hours of consecutive usage with many Chrome tabs, Slack, and Spotify works intermittently at typical brightness and it does poorly in executing tasks as well. Navigating numerous Chrome tabs is possible, though there was some delay in typing and processing, with Twitter likes taking longer than usual to show up after pressing the button. Once attempted to use my Pentium for different tasks, ran into obstacles. Growing restless as clicked through the settings app, painting and paint went smoothly. But whiteboard struggled and Slack began dragging when it shared space with Chrome tabs. It further lagged behind in updating and responding to clicks, which often took multiple seconds when switching channels. As soon as the Vivo book started downloading Windows updates from the Microsoft Store, all other activities came to screeching halt programs were freezing regularly making the device nearly unusable. Boot time was sluggish in general, so more often than not found myself stalled by staring at the Stephen Harrington logo on screen when turning it on. All in all, it is basically a small TV that can be used for YouTube and Netflix, as well as Twitter. However, if you are looking, 